It's finally time for Classroom of the Elite Season 3. I just finished Season 2 on one of my YouTube channel. Some people actually think these are like reactions I'm doing it right now. And some people are like, bro, why aren't you reading my comments? Bro, I told you about this. Like, shut the fuck up, dumbass. These videos were made two years ago. But they were uploaded just in time so that we can get onto Season 3 right away. This should be the arc between Ayano Koji versus Arisu. Apparently, she's calling us a fake genius. But the trailer told us, hold up. It's actually Ichinose versus Arisu. Let's see what's going to happen in today's episode. Quote of the day soundtrack changed. Before it used to be ding, da na na. You, you know, there's a different sound, but quote of the day is the strongest principle of growth lies in the human choice. Wow, very deep and profound. George Eliot, Daniel Deronda. Who? CGI car wheels, I saw that. CGI bus, I see it. Ah, uh, dude, this is not looking good for our season three guys. If we're already getting hit with CGI. Here we fucking go. Chabs is in the front right here. Let's 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 see the natural hierarchy of where everyone sits. Chabs in the front being a bitch as usual. Let's see it. You got Yukimura Keisei right in the fucking front. These are the seats that you should be picking. The solo side seats, right? The double seats are fucking annoying. You got NPC number one in the back. You got Horikita Suzun. Do you know who this is? This is a guy named Hondo, by the way. You don't even know who Hondo is. Because this character is someone Chabashira fucking shit on. The first episode of season one, where Chabashira was like, You fucking dumbasses. You used up all your points. This dude Hondo right here, behind Suzune. Looking back, this is the most screen time we're gonna have from him. You got Sudo, Hirata right beside each other. We got uh, EK and uh, Glasses. The I think this is Anukoji here. Where's the girls though? We got Ka oh oh Koenji Koenji. Wait wait Koenji. Giga chat Koenji. Giga chat Koenji. Is that a no? The girl beside Koenji is talking to the girl behind. I thought this girl was literally talking to Koenji. It's Koenji not even looking at her. We got K right over here. All right. Everybody just sitting. Let's go. Mountain arc. <laughs> Yamauchi's getting a line first, dude. <laughs> One of the black room graduates, Yamauchi. <laughs> Ike just wants to show. Ike just wants to go to the hospital and go. <laughs> Sadu. <laughs> Sudo say, keep it down as he fucking puts his hand up for the squishy position. But look at Sudo and they shoot Sudo down immediately. Her new pet. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> How? He's so fucking whipped now. He's actually a dog for Sudo's name. This is funny because Sudo's name is our dog. So this is our pet's pet, right? I'm the coach's pet is Sudo's name. And Sudo's name's pet is Sudo. <laughs> <laughs> is this the girl you guys are hyping up during the light novel reading? This girl, what's her name? I'm I don't know. I don't think she's had much focus, but this is like K's group, right? Masushita, yeah. Masushita. Is she actually important? Is she actually important? We'll see. We'll see. Mm, she's looking at she's looking at uh Koji. I'm surprised she didn't call us fucking morons. <laughs> Wait! Already? I thought. Oh, I haven't been keeping up with the class points, but I thought. See, see so, so I had a coach. Is this a time scale? I don't know. But I had a coach basically said in the final term of first year, and he de he declared this to Ryuan. In the Christmas Eve, remember? Christmas Eve, season two? Ryuan was like, bro, you fucking brought me out on Christmas Eve here? Because, you know, that ship is better. He told Ryuan, in the final term of first year, I will get my class to C class. But then, we're actually gonna drop back down to class D. Why? Because we're gonna expel uh, Kushida. So I guess if Kushida gets expelled, it's like kind of a negative thing for class C at that time. So we drop back to down to class D. I think that's what he said. But seemingly, we're already in class C. Okay. Koenji's still not watching, by the way. Look at Koenji. Bro, it's just... <laughs> How beautiful. The, the sight outside is it, it is. Mixed training camp, let's go. More CGI buses. This is a study group, right? Yeah. 
But, what do you mean training camp? This is not a shonen show. I mean, there are some fight scenes, but like training camp implies that there's a training. Or what the fuck are you training? You're going to the mountains to study? Oh, mental growth? What are you doing here? <laughs> You're not, you don't, it's not a battle shonen. Okay. I fucking hate graded bean group because how many times have you been in a fucking group project at work, school, whatnot? There's this one motherfucker that refuses to do anything and you're like, please, just communicate if you're just gonna be a fucking useless piece of shit. They just keep fucking dragging you down. You know what the best thing you can say to those pieces of shits in those group in those um in those in those group projects? You tell them, when I die, I want you guys to raise the my funeral case box down to the ground. Because What's the sign? Because then, at least you'll let me down once more after I die or some shit. It's so annoying. I hate group projects, bro. It's so fucking annoying, but you have to just deal with it. The best thing to do is have zero expectation for them. Literally assume that they won't contribute, and suddenly, it'll be, it'll be a little bit better. Four tests. Zen. <laughs> a meditation <laughs> test? Oh, this is from the trailer where everyone was like, just meditating. So it's a meditation test. Grading will be based on etiquette and posture. <laughs> Are people gonna try to fuck each other over in the meditation trying to make each other laugh? <laughs> while, while the grader is not look, 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 looking? Alright, written exam. A written test primarily about morality will be conducted. Grading will be based on test scores. Alright, boring. Speech. Every member of the group will give a speech. Oh, grading will be based on your four criteria. Volume, posture, content, delivery. I love the speech kind of ones, because I can just fucking... I like the performance. I like it when the spotlight told me, so I can just fucking go out there and bullshit. Maybe Koenji will be good at this? I'm not sure. I'm just thinking about Koenji's going to be good at. Marathon! All groups will participate in a relay marathon. Grading will be based on placement and time. In season two, we race to Manabu, but some dude in front of us fell as soon as he said, Watch. Now, I'm gonna go even faster. Maybe we can get a little bit of a redemption there, but okay, cool. Four tests. <laughs> Falling on... <laughs> as soon as they say borderline, they go... Hondo is getting another say. Look at this dude! Do you know him? I guarantee you, you guys have no idea who these three characters are behind Suzune. Because these are straight up NPCs. <laughs> Like, do you think EK, Yamauchi, Sudo are NPCs? They kind of are, right? But they're, they're like name characters that actually contribute. <laughs> These dudes are even more NPC than EK, dude. One person named by said leader expelled. Here's the plan. Get Kushida group to fail. We need one person in Kushida's group to fail. Kushida's the leader. Get Kushida expelled. Should be the strategy if we're gonna get her expelled. <laughs> Yamagod! Yamagod from the black room! Shitting on- Look at the utmost confidence he has in his eyes too. That's the thing about Yamauchi. He doesn't, like, he just caps so hard, but he has such a confident look. Look at this dude. My <laughs> <laughs> NPC girls, NPC girls. No, we gotta let Kushida go though. Fuck Kushida. Okay? Susume? <laughs> no, they're all incompetent. Oh? Wow! Development! Wow! If this was season 1 or even early season 2, Susan, you know what she'd have done? I wished to do nothing with you defects. Get the fuck out of my face. And she would maybe even, you know, what's the word? Fucking brandish her fucking, you know, compass point to stab. Right now, she admits her faults. She admits that she's kind of useless. She admits that her personality is suited for this. But still, yeah, and she would have spat at the end. <laughs> Disgusting, but damn, okay, Susan, I see the development. Okay. You didn't really have to say it right. It, it kind of showed the vulnerabilities, but still, hey, development. Mm. <laughs>
everyone in the class trusts you after all. <laughs> but here's the thing. I know Koji doesn't. But Suzuni might actually. Suzuni has been fighting for Kushida in season two. It's really weird. I don't know how this turned out. In the beginning, we're fucking hating her. But in season two, with the Kushida backstory, she's not giving up on Kushida. Even when talking to Koji, it's like, yo, are you sure we can... Like, Koji's like, yo, we can't trust her. You know we have to, like, excise that. Even Ryuan says she's a cancer. We need to get rid of her. She keeps her there, though. Why? Why would she keep uh, Kushida here? Koenshi did not participate in that discussion at all. Hondo is there again, bro. Hondo just made it into another scene. <laughs> Bald. Bald. All right, we got Class B, Ichinose and her harem. We got Baldi Katsuragi here. And where's Ryuan in them? Class C. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, the screen kind of lagged there. Class C right here, right? Yeah. No, this is Class A. This faction is very important, right? Because Class A is divided into two factions. Baldi's faction and Cripple's faction, right? So far, we've gotten to see a little bit of the top knot. He kind of blocked you know, uh, Ryuan's kick. But these two, I don't think we've seen much of. <laughs> Sakayanagi. Hmm. Can't protect everybody. <laughs> Let Sakura die. <laughs> well, apparently Sakura actually pop pops this season. But this girl serves no purpose in this anime after season one. And even in season one, her only functionality was the fucking camera. Her own like the camera was more important than Sakura. Ever since that, her only purpose is to simp for, you know, Koji and get sexually harassed by Yamauchi, dude. What is her role? But apparently, she's actually important in season three. We'll let it cook. I'm anime only. We'll let it cook. Light novel readers, don't spoil. <laughs> Who I protect. <sighs> Nagumo. This guy is in the mountain arc too. Oh, bro. I think he's one of the most anticipated characters right we barely ever see him he gave a little speech saying he's the newest you know student council prez everything will be based on merits not your shitty team fuck that if you are competent yourself you can rise up in the school very compelling okay koji's kind of eyeing him nice to see a teacher is not fat still because in this scene in okay i know i gotta do this i'm sorry i'm doing this i'm doing this coach uh mashima right his name is mashima teacher right all right here we go class a teacher do you know what this guy used to look at look like i'll show you guys right here what happened Cause this is class one right a this is first season bro in the bottom panel this dude it was so rotund and then in season two he just got so slim what the fuck happened with koji or or ryuen ryuen kakeru Yo, we should we should team up with Ryuan, our boyfriend. Yo, we should team up with Ryuan. Who is the leader now of Class C? Now it's not Ryuan. Now it's 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 Ryuan. No fucking shot. Did he? Yeah, what's his name again? It's not Yamaguchi. Ah, uh, fuck. Ishi, Ishizaki? Ishizaki. Ishizaki looks actually quite buff here. New build? He was not this jacked in season two or one. Look at him. He looks pretty white, huh? Look at this. Ishizaki model update. Albert looks thick as usual. Ishizaki model update. I swear to God, he was not this. He's not this wide before. I see Ibuki too, yeah. Yes, yeah, EK. <laughs> Yeah, my God! Every line he dishes out, Yamauchi. Hey, girls, you better help. This is a good. You're supposed to be a gentleman and car, you know, and carry the girls, you know, bags. Ek should be carrying Kushida's bag and you know, trying to raise her up. But Yamauchi's like, nah, bitch. You guys fucking carry it. Yeah, my God, from the black room. Voice? Who's this voice? Oh, I thought it was the Susan. Silence, assistant. Did I give you permission to talk? Holy shit, Manabu versus this dude already? Oh, president? <laughs> In front of everybody? Manabu's down. 
シンプルでしょ。ああ、I want a 1v1 duel group. I, again, group is fucking biased. It should be individual 1v1, but let's go. なるほど。<笑>なるほど。They're definitely gonna get mixed up in it, right? Yeah, he did. For his pride? Is he prideful? Nagumo Miyabi. Yes, he does. This guy, again, everything about him just screams competence. He's so good looking, first of all, right? He's got the aesthetics down. Imagine like a male Kushida, right? All the girls simp for him. But I don't know if he's evil or not, right? I don't know if he has a second face. But he's seemingly super smart. He got recommended by Manabu to take him's place. This dude is seemingly perfect. But his eyesight's a little sinister too, right? So it's like, what is this guy about? I hope he's an arrogant douchebag that's also very competent, kind of like Koenji. Damn, we're rocking up, huh? Yeah, girls, help out too. Iken Yamauchi, first one out, no cardio. <laughs> the girls? <laughs> Iken Yamauchi, dude. <too? laughs> Ever since reading the light novel, I'm starting to appreciate these two characters way, way more, dude. Because in season one and season two, when I was anime only, I used to just like not even think about these characters. But then when I did a rewatch and we're watching that, we're reading the light novel volume one, like this shit's pretty fucking funny to me. Who are these girls? I don't know, but they're fucking, you know, Yamagod literally said, you better help out too. They're fucking first one out. The girls are staring at them. Group dorm. Everybody here? This is cramped. We got Albert? <laughs> Who are these NPC characters? There's so many students in this class, right? They can't possibly give attention to everybody. But I have never. Like, Ishizaki is an NPC already. <laughs> Who the fuck are these two dudes? <laughs> I hope they're important. Oh, some conflict. Keisei, get in there! Group leader! Koji put it. Ishizaki knows. Ishizaki knows about the piano and calligraphy skills. You talking shit about my boy Yukimura? Yukimura Keisei is goaded. Did you guys know? Season 1, Yukimura tied with Koenji for top marks. I hope you guys know this. In academic ability, Yukimura is actually one of the smartest. Ba ba ba! Piano calligraphy! Oh, we're replaying the entire scene. <laughs> Everybody got PTSD. What does Albert think of us? He's moving! He's moving! Giga Chad. Spam the Giga Chads in chat, y'all know. Yeah. Fuck talking over, I'm the king. This is the king's throne. Who the fuck is Yahiko? A class people? Ah, Baldi's faction. This is Baldi's faction. This infighting in A class is pretty interesting. And again, <laughs> Albert sits right beside. But Koenji, he did the same shit in season one. When everyone was picking, like, you know, and, and uh, seats in in class one D, Koenji sits right in the fucking middle. Bro just loves it, huh? He sits right in the middle, puts his foot on the fucking table, just goes like this, doesn't listen to anything. Giga Chad, I fucking love Koenji. Yeah, he calls Katsuraga's best boyfriend? Alright, okay. Look at these NPC motherfuckers trying to reason with Koenji, dude. Shut the fuck down, what did he say? There was two dialogues going happening at the same time with Ayano Koji and Koenji, hold up. That's another no. Focus on the top subtitles. Don't make trouble for the other classes. I don't wish to have trouble made for me either. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my face, NPCs. 3v1, easy. 3v1. Important character. Did she just say Yahalo? Or am I crazy because I'm watching Snafu right now? What was that noise? Yaho! <laughs> Is this the same voice actor as Yui Gahama? Oh my! Imagine she said Yahalo here, dude! <laughs> dude oh my god! Yaho! <laughs> Cap, she's seemingly fucking perfect. I don't know what's her fault. Everybody has some sort of defect or weakness. This girl has only shown just perfection so far, but this season is gonna be about her, right? Let's learn about her. 
I think the middle girl right here got rejected by Ayana Koji. Sorry, up by uh, Ichino in season one, right? This middle girl right here, right between these three girls, I think the middle one got rejected. Her hair was a little bit more green in season one, though. Ponami. Ponami chan. I straight up didn't know Honami. It, it was Honami Ichinose. All right, Honami. All right. Ichinose got a 10 to her harem. Bye bye. Communication mm -hmm. And that's the craziest thing. Communication skills is so important, right? Being able to have charisma lead people through communication, you know, and rallying them up is the most important skill. But this motherfucker, Arakoji, has no communication skills. He has like. No Riz yet. Yeah, he's still able to play around with everybody fucking puppet masters by getting people who can talk as his tools. Isn't that fucking crazy? Kushida and Susan same table? Who the fuck are these two? NPC characters? Is that ever gonna happen? Straight up, she's trying to get Suzun and Ayana Kuyikun fucking expelled. But, like, we're still not giving up? This is so naive. This is beyond naive. How is this gonna play in her favor? It doesn't matter, it's because you still know it! You still know it, though! That's not the point! <laughs> I mean, are we holding a knife to her throat? Well, we are trying to- I know Koji is at least trying to get her expelled, but interesting analogy. Never really thought about it from Kushida's perspective. This is true. She is a good asset. Not in just terms of her titties, but like she can unite the guys, right? She was the reason our study group was even able to form in the beginning because the dudes were fucking horny and, you know, the dudes don't like Hirata. But technically, we do have Suzune as another central leadership figure, but still. Oh, I paused at the wrong place. Wait. Transition scene. Let's play this again. Condescending. Damn. <laughs> She's so fast to switch up. Stop being like your brother. Your entire fucking problem starts and ends because of this. Stop chasing after perfect Manabu. Be your own person. Your brother is disappointed in you because you keep chasing after something that's impossible to chase, which on the process of doing that fucks everything over. But technically, she's been getting better. And even Nissan, you know, said that, you know what, Suzune? Yes, Suzune, not Suzune. You being accepted into student council president, I think it's your own benefit. I think that was a very heartfelt call when we called her, sorry, called him from Anakoji's phone. But like, he still has his mindset, huh? <laughs> Koji just awkwardly... Bro has been standing this entire time, by the way. Ever since Ichinose left the entire time, Koji has been standing with this fucking plate like this the entire... I'm sure in the anime real life time, that was a couple seconds, but, you know, that was like fucking 15 minutes, bro. Just, just staring. Koji's missing! Maybe he's already like in the fucking hospital or something enjoying his morning. He doesn't care though. Yeah, oh, hey, oh, <laughs> he doesn't care though. Oh, he doesn't care though. 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 He doesn't care Rather than chastising me, shouldn't you be heading for a roll call, you fucking C-class, sorry, D-class NPC? <laughs> I don't even know what that word means! What is this? Your anachronistic idea of a delinquent? It's probably some kind of pretentious idea of a delinquent. <laughs> Fight! Do it! No, no, no! No! Fight! We haven't seen Koenji fight yet! Come on! True. Ooh, A class dude. Oh, 
そうだろう Instantly diffused the situation with the clap. You know, he is Arisu's gang. This is A class blonde top knot. Look at that. He said that with a grin on his face, too. Pretty giga c h a t in my opinion. k o e n s just standing there, still dripping in sweat. Yukimura Keisei. Oh, you can fight after that. Damn. Can't even talk back. Pure. Facts and logic diffuse the situation. All right, Coins, you got any more for us? And remember, he's dripping in manliness right now. You know why? Because he's never wiped down in his life. But then, why does he have the towel there, actually? He's not done yet. He's a pacifist? I think that's actually pretty important. Yeah, look at that fucking neck, dude. Look at this girth. Bro has the fucking body of a fucking One Piece character. Holy sh. How are you like a 15, 16 year old kid? Then again, Albert exists, so why am I fucking questioning myself? I just want to replay just Koenji's intro scene one more time. This was fucking amazing. Let's go. Where's Koenji? Oh my god! Early morning training? He was already training? So good. I love this dude. Yeah, worry about yourself, dumbass! Class 1D delinquent! Ah, this is unfortunate. I wanted to see Koenji fight. True! Ooh. Dude, look at just standing there. Hashimoto, yeah? Okay. Now, that scene was amazing, but I'm noticing that the soundtrack being used is like the old soundtrack. So, this is, I think, the White Room or something other theme. They've, re they've constantly been reusing season one and two soundtracks. Where's my season three exclusives? I feel like that's super important. I'm a pacifist, you know. Mm. <laughs> right hand man, yep, Hashimoto. Yeah, he is. Two blue hair girls together? Meditation. Koenji! <laughs> Giga Chad. Oh, Albert, careful! Ow. Yeah, the mental stress is taking a toll, but Hashimoto seems pretty chill. Alright, some cardio. I fucking hate cardio. Ichinose, last place cardio? Wait, what's going on? Oh, she's waiting for her harem. Beauty! This girl. Wait, why are you guys saying racist? The racist, why only hit Albert? Albert was fucking moving a little bit because he's too muscular. <laughs> the teacher's not racist. <laughs> anyway. Oh, 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 my God. Wow. Sheena Hiori. The way that she talks is so soft. Oh my god, I, I'm just... Pfft. I'm already calm, dude. This is the best group. Yo, May got into the best group. Hiyori and Ichinose? Aww. Yo, the girls are so nice. What the fuck? They're like, it's okay. Go at your own pace, you know? Everything's gonna be alright. And the guy side is like, You wanna fight, motherfucker? Class D reject? Jesus Christ, the girls are so much nicer. Then again, Kushida exists, so does Suzune, so never mind, hold, hold, wow. So nice. Oh! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> She's so cute! Mi-chan. Okay, Mi-chan. Wow. Mi-chan getting some spotlight. Damn, with Hiyori and Ichinos in the same scene? Holy! Ike? Ike Yamauchi! <laughs> I don't know what's about to happen right now, but these two, remember, these two hang out together, remember, these two are one of the most important figureheads in Class New Elite, Season 1 and 2, remember? Yamauchi, I want you guys to understand, okay, these two are not to be joked around with, okay? Yamauchi was the one that enabled Class 1A, sorry, 1D, to substitute Suzune out and change the leader. Why? Marikita. And Ike? 
survivalist. Without him, everyone would have been fucking starving, no water, dehydrated. Products of the black room right here. You guys know if you see my trailer, I told you. What is Arisu gonna do if you break her other leg? <laughs> or if you kick that If you kick her while kicking? <laughs> Yamauchi did that right? Was that Yamagod? It was Yamagod! Oh, you wanna go here? If he fucking tried to get her number right here, Yamagod would have been fucking just best fucking. <laughs> look at EK, dude. EK is looking down on Arisu. I want you to look at EK's eyesight, side eye. <laughs> Two black room graduates, side eye. <laughs> and look at this. He didn't even look. EK's like, I'm not gonna help. What the fuck? <laughs> fucking. <laughs> Dude, because the author probably knows that these two characters are fucking meme characters. So you have Yamauchi take out the leader of class A. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the power scaling, dude. Holy shit. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> She can still hear us! <laughs> and Pro is already fucking sexually harassing her! I can't, I can't with this character, too. Straight up, I'm crying laughing at Yamauchi. Because I've been memeing so hard with Yamauchi in the light novel while he won. But okay, let's get, let's get serious here. I, 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 I kind of did notice this part, though. As soon as she tripped, she got back up right away. I, I know that... I know that Arisu of all people is the most conscious about her own weakness, right? She's this brilliant... Apparently a natural prodigy? Because she called Ayano Koji a fake genius. A fake genius implies that you are not genuine. How could that be the case? Think about the white room. The white room was experimenting on kids, right? To become crazy superhumans. So in that sense, Ayano Koji was never born a genius like this. He was actually artificially created into a genius, therefore fake. But that implies Arisu is a true genius. No white room, just pure genius. And even now, Yamagod outsmarts that perfect, genuine genius. But look at her eyes, right? She obviously feels very insecure. Everybody has their own weakness. She gets up immediately. Don't worry about me. I'm gonna go by. <laughs> Don't concern yourself with me, she says with that smile. Again, side eyes from the two black room graduates. But really interesting here. She must have very... In she must be very insecure about this, right? Well, I'm not sure if insecure. Maybe she's embraced her disability and she's completely, you know, okay with it. But clearly, it's still her biggest weakness. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Drifter! Yamaka! Dude, I, I just realized. I just realized the ridiculousness of Yamauchi's statement right here. Sakayanag is really pretty, but he's kind of a klutz, man. You're the one who tripped her! He is so <laughs> unself aware. He didn't even. You kicked her cane out! And she's like. What the fuck? Black room activities. Koji. This is the trailer scene. <laughs> He's gonna talk to Yamauchi about it. Did he? Did he not? Did he want to help out Ayana Koji here by making her trip so that she would get emotionally flustered, you know? Her mental status right now, it's a little bit more damaged. So by the time that Yamagod's true partner in crime in Class 1C now, Ayana Koji, comes to talk with Arisu, this discussion is suddenly more in Koji's favor because of the trip. Just think about that for a second. I just want you to think, was that on purpose? 
was a completely a problem, a, 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 a mistake, who knows? Okay. Confidence? Where's the piano theme? Come on, play it. But class B first. Ichinose. Because she deems Ichinose more of a threat than Ayano Koji, and yeah, the subs fucked up there. Thanks, Crunchyroll. New soundtrack! While A class is fragmented in two different factions of Baldi, Katsuragi, and Arisu, Ichinose has united everybody. 2.6 million, who knows, maybe even more, 3 mil? Is everybody just giving their points to Ichinose? Like, I told you guys, right, about my plans, but if I entered the school, it's like, I would do some kind of Ponzi scheme where it's like, guys, guys, if you guys give me all your points each month, a certain percent, I will increase that by a fixed interest each month and distribute it out, but you got, but, but the money will continue growing as long as the money is stored within me. So, like, keep giving me the money, guys. So, Ichinose is going that strat? What's she gonna... Wait. Wouldn't it be... Because her goal is to skip... Right, think about this. Oh, this is season 2 soundtrack? Mate, my bad. But think about this. Ichinose's goal, or at least she mentioned to Koji, Hey, did you know if you get like 20 million points in this show, you can actually transfer classes? So like, everybody trusted Ichinose with their points. <laughs> and if she actually just fucking rug pulls crypto scam... <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna go team it with Ayla Koji. Thanks for your point. Did you imagine she betrays everybody? This is a long con from the beginning. This per seemingly perfect girl just does a fucking pump and dump. <laughs> Two sides to them and a dark side. Mm. <laughs> fight directly. You got to fight Yamauchi first. <sighs> That's her first scene, man. With Arisu, I mean. K? What do we text K to do? Oh, that's what he did in the lunchroom. This fucking guy with that single comment just fucking rizzed K up. Yo, his social game's getting better. He's getting way better at kind of that romantic riz, right? Because in the beginning, he's very socially awkward. He doesn't really know how to talk to girls. He's just super horny. But now, that, that statement right there, immediately K was like, oh. You really think so? Alright, what can I do for you? Watch. Who? Come on, tell me! No, they're not gonna tell us! Alright. Yeah, Koji hits up, you're not like the other girls. <laughs> you're special to me. Hot Spring scene? Oh, the first episode's a Hot Spring episode too? <gasps> Who the- Oh my god, Koji's- You know, you know what? The light novel specifically mentioned, Koji's muscles are condensed in two areas. The forearms and the back. I think Koji's entire physique is a sleeper build. He doesn't want to be like Albert. He doesn't want to fucking be super jacked. It's too obvious. But if he looks kind of pinner, nobody suspects that he's strong. But if he has the muscles where it counts, like the fucking forearms in the back that lets him do fucking... You know, I'm just saying. Another note. Another note from K or... Is there no loopholes here? <laughs> you didn't take her out. Yamauchi took her out with Marikita. K say yeah, yeah. But Ichinose kind of helped out there too, yeah? With K, uh huh? And I don't think people understand why he intends to try to skip here, right? Most anime only has no idea why this NPC background character decided to step up against Manabu. It's because to throw Ryuan off. If supposed NPC who's hiding himself suddenly stood out, then it's a little bit weird, right? But there's another, another running scene, uh, running arc in this arc, right? Kushida got fucking bodied, that's right. Ryuan also fucking tag teamed her. That scene, honestly, Ryuan and Anokoji fuck. No, this is more Susune, right? The framework got set up, Susune actually clutched, right? Got to Chabs in time, told her, if Kushida comes here trying to say, swap that shit out, nah, don't trust her. But then Ryuan had no reason to fuck her up like that. But she's like, yeah, Susune already won. I'm gonna fuck you too. Manabu scene in the trailer. That was a secret note from Manabu. I thought it was K returning the letter, but again, this is the main ship, guys. From season one, it's been Manabu x Koji, dude. Then again, he starts to fuck around with a little bit with Ryun and shit in season two, but I think we're back. I think we're back, dude. Nissan booty call? Yes, Nissan booty call.
What's up? あんたが俺に接触してくるなんてな。I'm not! なぜ呼び出したかわかるか ?Cause you're so damn bad for Koji! ああ、そうだ。You're not a more reason. 二年全体を掌握している。He's already united all the second years? どうしろとお前には、貸しがあったはずだ。All、oh, right, the Ryuan fight, right? He said he'd be on lookout. Yes, yes, yes. Nagumo ni taiko s h i t e m o r u What? Suzune o say to k a i ni rete. What? You know, the dori. Oh, my god, the shiji o dasabai. Big pro knows that his little sister couldn't possibly be competent enough to join the student council president, you know, by herself. He, says he, he knows that Koji put her daddy, but he's still saying it. You can continue manipulating the behind the scenes, bro. Do whatever you want. Just be here for me. Take out Nagumo. Take out Nagumo. Informant. Who? The little assistant girl, right? That Manabu always shits on whenever. Like, remember the first season? <laughs> He's like, yo, you want to join the student council president?、Uh, student council? And she's like, but Manabu. And she's like, did I say you could talk? Never mind. Tumpo. Go, go. Okay, I thought it was going to be the little girl. Never mind. Complete. Okay, wait, 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 wait. wait. Student Council Vice President, never mind, never mind. Kiriyama Ikuto. Second years. Kiriyama Ikuto. Did you hear that? As soon as he walked in, he was like, hmm. Maybe he doesn't like the fact that someone like younger, like Koji, is getting better treatment than a Student Council Vice President like that. I don't know. But I like that. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Double agent. Double agent. Alright. Hands off right now. Piano, calligraphy skills. You want to fucking fight? Let's fucking fight. If it's the intellect, you're better at that. Yeah. Okay, and Koji's response? Who are you? Who the fuck are you? I am the guy fucking your man that you are serving. Sit the fuck down, Kiriyama. The traditions. What? Oh, the individual merit versus class. Everybody's gonna get expelled? Because Nagumo's new rule? Unprincipled. So he's a little scummy, yeah? Like, Nagumo will obviously do all the backdoor shit too. So, Manabu will still have a duel with, with、uh, Nagumo, but he wants Ayano Koji to pretty much get him expelled, which is really interesting because Nagumo is the next in line to succeed. and... Manabu put him up there, but now he's having other thoughts? Was the whole revelation of Nagumo's ideals a shock to Manabu? Dun dun dun. What? Koji actually doesn't believe in Manabu now? That concludes our first Classroom of the Elite Season 3 reaction. And holy fuck, how long have we been recording for? This is a 55 minute reaction. We're back with the long ass fucking reactions. Obviously, for the YouTube style, I edit, edit down. I'm sorry. I, I just, whenever there's some, like Classroom of the Elite, there's so much things you can just pause and just talk about and break down. But holy shit, in our reaction, we are so finally fucking back. The arc has started. We're in the mountain special training. Four tests, four very different tests. Running is one of them. I don't know. Maybe we could get something going on there. Manabu versus Nagumo duel. Anakoji secretly taking up Manabu from behind. Apparently, a double agent from Nagumo's side or Manabu's side. Maybe a traitor, maybe not. Who knows? Arisu, Yamagot scene, probably the best scene. Koenji popping up. This episode was fucking goaded, but a lot of people are typing in chat, spamming over and over again, even in the trailers. T Rex scene. T Rex scene. T Rex scene. I don't know what that implies, but again, the light novel kind of is too long, right? Not too long, but the enemy can't possibly translate all the light novel stuff. So maybe some stuff are reordered. Maybe we'll get the T Rex scene in the future. You never know, but that's it for me. But hey, if you're still here, if you'd enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.